Hey there, thanks for joining me once again. And in this tutorial, we're going to go through the first of my basic hybrid tapping licks and uh, slowly move on to more complicated ones as time goes along. So this one here, if I just switch to a closer view, and we'll start off nice and slow. So the way this works is, if you have a look at the, the way I've mapped it out in Sibelius here, every time you see this little scoop, which is a, actually a symbol from jazz notation uh, called a scoop, which is where the trumpet scoops up to the note it's going for from uh, a note below. But in this case, I've just pinched the symbol because it looks like what you do with the hybrid picking finger. So make sure you watch the intro video to this if you haven't. It's, it'll be in the same playlist and make sure you've uh, you understand uh, what I've explained about the technique from there before you attempt this. So every time you see this symbol though, and I've wrapped them up in these red boxes here so it's nice and clear, um, that means when you're going from this note on the B string to the A note, so the G note on the B string to the A note on the high E string, then we are using the hybrid, hybrid picking finger to actually pick the higher note. So you're going from a tapped note to a picked note on the high string. All right, so I'll get that angle so you can see. So tapping with the middle finger on the picking hand, and then picking with the hybrid picking finger on, or the third finger on the same on the picking hand as well. All right. So this little sequence here. We go five, six, eight on the B, and then on the E string. Alright. Alright, so that's the that's the first two bars. And uh, that last little sequence, it sort of rolls back on itself to get things ready for the next two bars. So if I start from the top again, And slowly. I might slow that down a little bit more and this will give us a, a metronome to follow along and you'll see the playhead move through the score but make sure you're listening to the metronome rather than following the playhead in Sibelius because you want to make sure you're aware of where the beats fall. So let's see how we go. guitar in the background there just for a bit of clarity as to where the notes should fall in case I make any mistakes. So let's go a little bit faster and you'll see that without much effort really in this particular case and in most of the hybrid tapping licks that I'll cover without a lot of effort uh, you can get up to some pretty blazingly fast speeds and get some really good results. So let's try this one again. I'll just pull the microphone down because there's a bit of noise outside.
how we go with 140. <laughs> So you can see that moving up in tempo, it's not making me any more tense or anything like that. It's quite different to when you move through tempo patterns with picking sequences, for instance, like going through exercises that try and get you to alternate pick at 200 plus beats a minute. Those, those kind of things are very difficult compared to what we're doing here. But because we're separating that load between two hands, we're using legato techniques and tapping and, uh, and hybrid picking in combination. There's a nice smooth separation of chores for all these different moving parts involved. And uh, it's just a matter of getting them in, uh, in coordination and then it all becomes quite easy. Whereas, uh, you know, speed picking at uh, very fast speeds requires a very particular attention to detail in the, in the picking technique itself. But once you get that coordination for this technique down, uh, you'll find that the, the speed is not the problem. So I'll just pull the microphone down again and I'll see how fast I can push this one before it starts to get too silly. Okay, so you can see it around about eighth note triplets at 340 beats a minute is uh, getting up to my limit. 400 was uh, obviously a bit too fast, but you can see we're getting into pretty stupid speed territory here before it starts to become a problem. So when you're thinking about what I would call useful speeds in a musical sense, even in, uh, in, in fast sort of metal, more like 16th notes at 180 is fast and pushing 200 you know maybe where appropriate and you'll get some players that push beyond that particularly when they use techniques like this you'll get into somewhere between 200 and 300 beats a minute for 16th notes but certainly you shouldn't be playing that fast very often and really mastering a few of these type of techniques gives you scope to to be able to throw some of that stuff in without fear where appropriate and another big advantage I didn't mention in the introduction, I think, is when you're playing in bands that, that tend to speed up a bit when they play live, you know, rhythm section gets a bit more excited and they, uh, they play, you know, 20 beats a minute faster than normal. This gives you, you know, if you like, sometimes a fallback position that you can have with some of your solo uh, techniques where if you planned on doing some particular lick that was um, alternate picked or something like that and found that at this particular tempo you know one night you just couldn't do it and then you can think about having one of these hybrid tapping licks as a backup and uh, I certainly have done that in my life playing a lot in the past um, where I've fallen back on one of these where I knew that the tempo had gone a bit beyond 200 bits a minute and I just couldn't pick that fast to be able to do what I'd in a recording or something like that so uh, get into this and, and see how you go and I'll be posting another one shortly that will be slightly more complicated again and we'll see how we go from there so thanks for watching <laughs>